Come on in, everybody. Come on in, come on in. Come on, come on. Something's wrong with these eyebrows. Come on in, everybody. It's Tuesday night. It is Tuesday night. We are on here for prayer. Come on in. What's up, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Everybody, come on in. Come on, come on. Come on in. Hope you are doing well tonight. It is Tuesday night. Hey, how are you? We are coming on. Good evening. Our first time on YouTube. Come on in. What's up? If you need prayer, this is the place to get it. Come on. Ron, thank you for coming on tonight. Yes, yes, yes. How are you? Come on in, everybody, everybody, everybody. The giving options, if you are trying to bless us tonight and this is your church tonight, we have giving options below because uh, we don't know how YouTube works. We, we, don't, we, don't know what, we don't know what YouTube is doing. We don't know. We don't know. But thank you, Ron. We appreciate you. The giving options are below. I just want to encourage y'all today. Uh, we're waiting for Pastor Mark to come on here. But while we're waiting for him to come on, we are going to pray tonight. Every Tuesday night, we've been doing this for three years. We've been doing it on uh, on IG. But now we are coming over to YouTube. We're coming over to Facebook. And we are praying. God, we thank you for uh, your blessings, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for starting us on our way. Everybody that's on this live and everybody that's coming in, God, you know them. You know their names. You made them. You know everything about them. You know their needs. You know what their families need. God, I ask that you exceed every need that they have because that's who you are. But before we ask you for anything, we want to first ask you for forgiveness. If there's anything that we've said, we've done, we've thought that is not like you, that is not pleasing to you, Lord, please forgive us. Wash us clean in your blood as only you can do. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. And we want to set aside time every Tuesday night for us to come together because we do everything on social media. We do everything. We laugh, we joke, we, 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 we encourage each other, we, we gawk, we, we look. But we want to use those platforms also for your glory and to tell you thank you to tell you thank you for everything that you do for us, for everything, some of the things that we, we take for granted and we forget about. God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for life today. Thank you for strength today. Thank you for the activities of our limbs today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, we bless your name. We bless you for the things we have yet to see that we haven't walked in yet. Thank you. Thank you for the things that you already did. Thank you. Thank you for the things that we're currently experiencing. Thank you, Lord. What a good and gracious, merciful God you are. Thank you, Lord, for another chance to say thank you on this side. God, I ask that you send ministering angels to everyone that's watching, to their homes, to the homes of their families and loved ones and friends. God, I ask you, whatever the need is, that you've already exceeded it. Thank you for allowing us to see your goodness manifest in our lives. We bless your name forevermore. And we'll be, we'll be sure to tell everybody that you did it. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on in. Listen, I need you to share this broadcast. We are here. This is our first time on YouTube. Our first time. What's up, everybody? I hope you are doing well. Uh, there are giving options below. I, 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 I just I want to say that in case you do something with YouTube. We don't I don't know what YouTube is doing, but 
if you, if you are so inclined, if, if, if God is touching your heart, for some of you, this is the only church that you know. This is the only church that you go to. If that being the case, go ahead and um, do what you got to do. And, and, and what's up? What's up from Chicago? Listen, I came on here tonight to let you know that, as always, the enemy gets really, really, really busy. And in doing so, he tries to make sure that we don't move forward in the things of God. His goal is to stop us in our tracks so that we don't move forward in the things of God. The goal of the enemy is to shut our mouths, to shut our mouths in saying how good God has been. That's his goal is to shut us up so that we won't testify because we overcome the enemy when we begin, watch this, when we begin to talk about the goodness of God. The Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. I'm going to say it again. The Bible says that you want to know how we overcome the enemy. Well, our Bible tells us that we do that. Anybody was, well, I, you know, the, he's on my track and the, and the devil's busy. Well, well, the Bible clearly indicates how we can overcome the enemy. And we do that by opening our mouths. So right now, if you need to overcome, I dare you to begin to type into the comments something that God has done for you. If you do this, watch this. It's a spiritual law that you will overcome. And how did they overcome him? By the blood of the lamb. That's first. Bringing Christ into your life. And two, by the words of your testimony. All you got to do is start typing. Let's go. What? Hey, hey, hey. What has God done for you? And I want you to make it busier, bigger than, than God woke me up this morning. Uh, we, he's done more than that. He's done more than that. That's obvious. Because let, let's, let's not do the obvious. Let's, let, let's not do that. Let's, let's dig a little deeper today. Let's, let's dig a little deeper today. Mm -hmm. Let's dig a little deeper today. Oh, here we go, Patricia. He helped me graduate school with a master's while being a single mother on an accelerated pace of five months. See, I don't want y'all to play no games tonight. That's a testimony. Only God can do that. Renata said, my mother is still alive. See, that, that, come on. See, when y'all start talking like that, something happens. Faith starts building in other people and faith starts building in you. The enemy wants to keep you silent. He wants to keep you quiet so that you're not speaking the thing. <laughs> he healed your body from three strokes. Not one, not two, but three strokes. Oh, okay. God gave you peace. Do y'all know that peace... Is, is a commodity that is a rare commodity these days. Everybody don't have peace. If you don't believe me, just go on social media. If you don't believe me, what was at the height, the, the top of 2024? Just people going crazy, running their mouths, no peace, in anguish, just, just starting junk. Just everybody's in a debacle. Peace is that. I'm just, there we go. Now, now we're getting to the, now we're getting to, see all, y'all need to read these. Thank God for strengthening my legs I, so I'm able to walk better than what I've had. Come on. What else? He gave you confidence in yourself to believe in yourself, in your craft. Do you know that there are a lot of people that don't believe in themselves, but God did it for you? Keep talking. Keep Because every time you open up your mouth and tell what God has done, come on. He opened up your heart to forgive. Every time you say, every time you tell a testimony, you're overcoming you're overcoming the enemy. You're overcoming the enemy. And it also says that faith comes by hearing. It's building up your faith. But how are you going to hear it if you don't talk? You got to hear it. You got to open up your mouth. You got to let those, you got to let those thumbs go. Let's go. 
Let's go. Let's put it in the chat. What else has he done? God pulled you out of being a traumatic situation and he pulled anxiety out of your body. Yolanda, do you know that people are trapped in anxiety, still having panic attacks, but God delivered you from trauma. He delivered you from your own anxiety. Come on, man. Let's go. He provided everything you needed for your household with three, three children. Come on, come on, come on. Talk about your God. Do it in the face of the enemy that would want you to be quiet. Do it in the face of the enemy that would want you to be quiet. He saved you from many dangerous situations, prosperous. I see you. I'm thanking God in advance. Sometimes you got to thank him in advance because your healing is your right. But he wants you to, AF, he, want, he wants you to sit there and not talk. He says, sit there. Don't say nothing because it hasn't happened yet. So you ain't got nothing to say. Liar, liar. It's a rough week, but I'm still here. God keeps keeping me. He calms me. He protects me. He per See, Danita, now you're talking. See, and every time you wrote something, Danita, the enemy said, oh no, now she's talking. See, when you don't know the principles, the spiritual laws, this is how he can get you. Had you quiet, wasn't talking. Say, I'm just going to come on here and I'm going to watch. I'm not going to say anything. Let them do the praying. No, you get to talking. The blessing the blessing is from when you talk. When he did, the Bible didn't say, and they overcame him by other people's testimonies. That's not what the word said. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. Not, not by my testimony. You can't overcome by mine. Come on, let's let, put it in the chat. You thank God for both your parents. Thank God for saving you. Come on, come on. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. That's all I need to see. Come on. Thank God. Keep going. Your first col colonoscopy last week discovered a polyp that is not cancerous. Do you know how many people were diagnosed with a cancerous polyp? But thanks be unto God. Grandmother had suf suffered three mini strokes that went unknown. Doctor says she shouldn't be alive but she's thriving. Not only is she alive, but she's thriving. Somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody, somebody ought to say, I overcame the enemy. Somebody ought, ought to say, I've overcome the enemy. My, my praise, my praise is freeing me. I dare you to put that in the chat. My testimony is freeing me. <laughs> Somebody needs to say that. My testimony is free. I'm already free. I'm already, I dare you to say that, Shamika. God gave you pre peace with your children. Ah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Still got peace. You shouldn't have it. You shouldn't have it. You should be in a crazy house. But God, see, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for bringing the, the blood pressure down. Thank you, Lord, for these testimonies. Don't tell me what God won't do. Don't tell me what God hasn't done. Things could be worse, but thanks be unto God. I'm already free. My testimony has freed me. We overcame the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony. What's your testimony? What's your testimony? My testimony is that I'm free. My testimony is that I'm not bound anymore. My testimony is that I don't believe the devil anymore. My testimony is that I, I'm starting to trust God again. I, I have to admit that, that my trust in God was low. But now, but now I'm, my faith is starting to be built back up. See, that's my testimony tonight. I'm free tonight. I'm free from bad thoughts. I'm free from self-doubt. I'm, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free from that. I'm free. I'm free from believing everything that the enemy tells me. I'm free. I'm free. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. If you just take a minute, if you just take a minute and you look over your life, I'm not talking about your current circumstance. I'm not talking about that. Because, because what the enemy does is he tries to isolate you in the, in the moment, in the worst moment. And in the, if this moment's not bad, he makes you think about moments that were bad and he gets you stuck there. But see, now we're not, we're not doing that. We're not falling for the banana in the tailpipe anymore, Marcus. We're not doing that because he tries to get us stuck. Remember that thing that happened? But everything's going okay right now. Yeah, but remember that thing's happened. You see, you can't get over that. See, that was bad. 
That was bad, CC. CC, you trying to get past that. You trying to scoot past. You can't scoot past that. See, see that was bad. Why, why does he want to keep you bound? So you can't move forward. So you can't move forward, Jillian. He doesn't want you to move forward in the things of God. Well, here's what I have to say to that. You can't get stuck. Listen to me. You can't get stuck where you are. You can't get stuck back there. Listen to me. You can't get stuck back there. We only have so much time down here. So we have to utilize this time. Watch this. We don't listen to me. Listen to listen real good. Do any of you remember Chadwick Boseman? I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking a question. Does anybody remember Kobe Bryant? I'm just I'm just asking a question. Does 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 anybody remember Nipsey Hussle? I'm I'm just I'm going I'm going to take a drink of this water. I'm just they all thought that they had many, 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 many years on this earth. But Kobe Bryant worked. Nipsey hustled. Chadwick was on three and four movies at a time. They kept working while it was day. All I'm asking you to do is to understand that we have a short time down here and what we have to do even if we live to be a hundred years, it's not a long time. There's work to be done. There's people to reach. There's goals to meet. There's work to be done for the savior. And we do not have the time to stay in depression. That's, that's all. I, that's, that's all I want to say to you. We do not. We, we are not afforded the time. Even if we have a hundred years, we do not have, we cannot afford the time to sit in our rooms with the covers over our head, afraid to get out during to, to, to work while it is day. We don't have that kind. We don't have that kind of luxury, baby. We don't have that kind of luxury, boo boo. To sit around and 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 lament about what happened years ago. We don't have that kind of time, sweetheart. There are people to be reached for the glory of God. Did you not know that your life is not just for you? Do you not realize that it's just, it's not just for you? Watch this. Do you realize that your house is not just for you? Do you realize that your car, can I help you? It's not just for you. Can I, can I say this? Can, 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 I, can I help you here? Do you realize that your money is not yours? Oh, don't worry about it. A lot of people are like, I ain't giving my tithes, you know, that's Old Testament. And just, you do what you want. Have at it. Go for it. But I realize that my money is not my money. The money that I have, God gave it to me. I, I wouldn't be able to get it if, it if he didn't put, watch this, if he didn't put breath in my body. I, I, wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to work if he didn't allow these fingers to move, if he didn't allow these hands to go up and down and sideways, if he didn't allow me to be able to think, to have my mind, to be in my right. I wouldn't have any of it if he didn't allow it because it's in him that I live, that I move, and I have my being. It is in God that I live, that I move, and I have my being. It's in him that I live and I move and I have my being. You can think that it's you if you want. You can think that it's because of your Apple or Droid phone that wakes you up, that your galaxy wakes you up in the morning. Good luck with that. It's not. You know when we come into that realization is when something happens. It's when we lose control of the cars, when we realize, oh my God, my life is not my own. That is in those moments when we're in the hospital, don't know how we got there, but we realize that life is frail. And if I don't have God, I don't have anything. It's in those moments that we realize that my family can't do it. My man can't do it. My woman can't do it. Mama can't do it. Daddy can't do it. Grandma can't do it for me. Granddaddy can't do it for me. My pastor can't do it for me. The only real thing that I have is an invisible God that chooses to keep me here. You want to know why you're still here? 
Oh, let's let's look it up. Let's let's you know, because a lot of us we we act like we don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. We act like we forgot. So hold on. If you if you would just if you would just indulge me for a moment, I'm just gonna look up a uh, statistic. Just just give me one second. Uh uh. Just just if you if you would just just indulge me for one quick second. Uh, hold on. Uh. Uh yeah, look, ho 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 ho. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, let's see. There were COVID nineteen in the pandemic in twenty twenty. Global deaths in twenty twenty. At least three million. I'm I'm going back. I'm going back it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was, that was in 2020. That was, in, that was in 2020. We didn't know what it was. We didn't know where it was coming from. We had no idea what was going on. We, we didn't know what was happening. 2020, 3 million died. May I submit that you're still here? Come closer. You're still here. And you think that God isn't going to make a way this time? You think that God has forgotten about you? And, oh, okay. I just, I just wanted to put that out there. I just wanted to make things clear. That was in 2020. We're not talking about 2021. We're talking about 2020 when everybody was fighting over toilet paper, when everybody was was wondering, am I going to get the shot? Am I not going to get the shot? Is it coming to my doorstep? What, what is going on? Everybody was fearful and watching the news. Do you remember? See, every now and again, I like to bring this back to your attention because we how quickly we forget because now we laughing in people's faces again and and now we out here and. And now we're we're gathering again, and and see we've forgotten, and we we forgot how how much we wanted to be in people's presence. We forgot how we couldn't even go to our parents' house, and how we had to be alone, and how we had to we had to sit and figure it out. And and you, you remember going to the grocery store and the lines? You remember and, and wiping down the shopping carts? Does anybody remember? No, but nobody. Okay, y'all just take a moment. I'll sit here. I'll sit here because y'all act like y'all y'all don't remember. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And now you're concerned if God is going to pay your light bill. I'll take a minute. Just don't worry about it. I, I, I just, just. And now you're concerned if God is going to come through for you, but you forgot that when you didn't even know what a COVID-19 was. And when we had to, to rely on that little tiny white man, you had never heard his name before. Fauci, you had never heard his name before, but all of a sudden, Fauci was this God that came to us and we hung on every word he said about this COVID-19. We didn't know what kind of disease it was. We didn't know how quickly we could catch it. We didn't know if we could get rid of it. We didn't know what was going on. We would come in our house. Well, I don't know about you, but when, when I'd go and get my groceries, Mike and I, we would run, get our groceries, come back. I would spray the bags down, wipe down the groceries. We would, I would go in the laundry room first, take off the clothes from the outside. Hey, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would take my clothes off in the laundry room and I'd put them in the washer. And I'd run and get in the shower and I would yell out, your turn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, because we didn't know what it was. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We had no idea what it was. We didn't know how we would be kept. We didn't know if it would hurt us like that. We didn't know if we were next. We kept seeing the numbers rise every day on the news of people who had died. We would see their pictures on the screen. 
<laughs> but not one time was it our picture. Not one time was it us. We kept seeing the numbers, but each number, may I submit to you, represented a person that had a family. Each number that you saw was a person that was connected to somebody else. Oh, how soon we forget what a great God, what a merciful God, that he kept us here, that he left us here for a reason. I just want to tell you tonight, you can't give up now. He left you here. You could have been one of the three million in 2020, but you weren't. You could have been one of another million in 2021, but you weren't. You're still here. So my question to you tonight is if he kept you during COVID, when you didn't, I'm sorry, y'all. It just hit me. I'm so sorry because I'm not just talking to y'all. I'm talking to myself. I'm so sorry. I just... Sometimes we forget, and I just, I just want to tell God, thank you. I just want to tell God, thank you. If he kept you then, Peaches, Danita, Maria, Melanie, Chantel, if he kept you then, Quisha, if he, if, you, if he kept you through that, King of Warriors, why won't he keep you now? He could have just took you then. Stop worrying about what's going on. Stop it. Stop. Listen to me. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Let's just take a minute. Let's just take a minute. Let's just take a minute and calm yourself. If he kept you, if he kept you, if he kept you, he can keep you now. If you're still here, he can keep you now. That's all, that's all I wanted to, that's all I wanted to say tonight. Stop worrying, y'all. Stop worrying. Take your put, do something else, but don't worry. <laughs> do something else, but but stop worrying. Cause God's got you. Oh, he's got you. Pastor Vereen, we, I'm trying to bring you on. Just know that God's got you. If he kept you, if you're still here, you tell the devil, I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it anymore. I, you had me depressed. You're right. You're right. He got me. He got me. And you, you, and you can say it in the chat. You can say it in the chat. Oh, he, he got me. I, I was down. I was down. But see, see now I'm remembering. Now I'm remembering what God did for me. Y'all, I'm trying to bring Pastor Mark in. Quisha, if you could tell me how to add Pastor Mark in. I'm trying to add the man of God in. Oh, my Lord. I'm just, I'm filled right now. I'm filled right now. Oh, my, 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 my. Wow. Wow. Pastor Mark, if you could say something else, I want to, I want to get you in here. My God today, I'm saying he got you yesterday, Jillian. Oh, but he can't get you today. He can't get you today. <laughs> Did he get you? See, so this, this is what the enemy will do. He'll get you and make you forget. He'll make you forget. You can't fall for it anymore, Steph. He'll make you forget. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. The enemy will make you forget. How good God is. Oh boy. Let me see. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get Pastor Mark in here. Uh, how can I get him in here? How can I get him in here? Um, let me see here, y'all. Y'all give me a minute. Keep putting your keep putting your uh testimonies in the chat because we're still overcoming. See, we're just talking about the goodness of God while I'm trying to figure out how to get uh, Pastor Mark in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How do I get, 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't give me the options. It makes him a moderator when I tap his name. Um, it makes him a moderator, but it doesn't um, it doesn't bring him on. Y'all, y'all, I'm trying to bring Pastor Mark in here. Y'all, y'all keep putting it up. Keep putting, keep putting what God has done for you. Good grief. While I try to figure out how to bring Pastor Mark in here. Because Pastor Mark got a, got a tag team this. Hold on here. Hold on. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Okay, it says, replace the pin message, remove, put a user in timeout, hide him from the channel, make him a moderator. Uh, I got to figure out how to bring him in. Does anybody know how to bring Pastor Mark in here? Because that's what I want to do. How do I bring him in here? Let me see here. Y'all give me a minute. Let me see here. Let me see here. Um, does anybody know how to work YouTube live. I thought he could just come on. I shared a link with him. Let me see. Uh, let me see, y'all. This is my first time. I was on here live before. Let me see if I can share this, this link. Praise God. Yes, Lord. You got encouragement from us. For sure. I might, I might have to come out and come back in. I sent Pastor Vereen. I sent him a link. But y'all, would y'all come back if I got to come off to put him in? Would y'all come back? Yes, I'm using my phone. Y'all will come back because Pastor Mark has something to say. Okay, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to get Pastor Mark and we're going to come right back. If you give me three minutes, I'm so grateful. I hope this is helping you. Let me go grab Pastor Mark. I see you, Troy. I see you, Arlette. Okay, let me go get, let me go get Pastor. <laughs> 